This is the story of one of the first ever color 35 millimeter undersea movies ever made. This is the star Martika in the photograph that was used to make the poster. This is the full size poster. It double featured with another movie, The Last Supper. This is the top secret camera that Bronson designed and built to house the 35 millimeter giant camera that made the movie. He didn't want life photographers to see his invention, so kept it under a black cloth the whole time. When I say covered the whole time, I mean covered the whole time that life photographers were photographing Bronson doing his movie for the Life magazine article. This was another article done. There were many articles done promoting the movie. Martika also went on a show called What's My Line? Which is pretty cool. This is the storyboard telling a story of a woman coming to Bermuda and discovering the undersea world and that actually the fish were very much like the humans above interacting with one another in cities which one might say the coral reef is a city uh, with fish hustling and bustling, making babies and carrying on their life and that they're not just a bunch of stupid creatures that uh, are just there for us to eat, but it's a whole world below like we live in above, Main Street under the sea. This is the film being delivered to quickly be flown to New York before it cooled down. The movie made it to the Cannes Film Festival in France, where Jacques Cousteau was overheard telling his cronies, I want that movie out of my category. And sure enough, through his political connections, he had the movie move to another section where all the experts who had come to see the first undersea movies would never see it. Later, it was mysteriously damaged in copying without the million dollar insurance it was supposed to have and all was lost. Basically, it was sold for scrap, and I understand there's some bits and pieces of it in the BBC archives in London. That's basically the story. I guess there are a few small stories to add, but that's basically it. I guess I have to tell some of the stories that my father passed on to me. It was winter time, and they were filming the Queen of Bermuda coming in for one of their first shots of the movie as the woman comes to Bermuda and they had set up the ark, which is the boat in this picture, in a shallow bay right where the ship comes through a narrow cut where it'd be great to get a good picture or movie footage. And my father somehow didn't, wasn't familiar with the location and didn't quite realize what was about to happen. When a ship passes through a very narrow passage, it often will suck the water out of an entire bay and then, of course, the water comes rushing back in, basically from the ship displacing water and creating a vacuum behind it. Anyway, what happened was exactly that. There they were filming, and all of a sudden the bay goes dry, and the boat hits bottom and rolls to one side, and they almost lost their camera as the boat tilted and the camera was on a tripod and uh, almost went overboard. This is Martika on the ark at the steering wheel, possibly on the day of that incident where they almost lost the camera. In reality, she really didn't like the water. And uh, she was really a good sport because she was asked to handle a live octopus and uh, do all sorts of things in probably adverse conditions. And uh, she was really quite wonderful about doing the movie despite not liking the water at all. I suppose she did it for love and Bronson loved her until the day she died and as well as the day he died. Uh, they're both gone now. 
There they are with Helen the angelfish. A wonderful shot of the two of them in the good times. That's all for now. Just sharing a story. Good night.